Tony Peterson here for Top 5 Rock Lists, and today I'm going to discuss um, my top five favorite music listening formats. Um, I don't know uh, where this one came from, but uh, it's uh, kind of a fun thing to think about, I think, and talk about. Um, let's just get started, I guess. Uh, we're going to go... I'm going to say number five on my list is uh, digital music listening services, kind of like Spotify and uh, those kind of things. Um, I like the fact that you can, uh, they're, they're portable and um, you can, if you uh, pay for the services, you can listen to full albums. Um, I don't like the, f I don't like it. Uh, that they seem to go to like the uh, lowest common denominator when you, for example, if you type in uh, Cheap Trick, um, the only, I immediately you're going to hear Surrender or um, I Want You to Want Me. Um, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't go to the deep cuts. Uh, so uh, that's number five. Uh, number four on my list is the radio and not necessarily so much today's radio although it's still pretty good I still listen to a lot of the radio um, but uh, you know as a as, as growing up um, especially when FM radio first came out and they were playing full albums and um, you know a lot of deep cuts they were playing on on uh, the FM radio back in the 70s and uh, it was a really great, really great format for listening to music. Number three is uh, CDs. And the main reason why I like a CD is because it's, it's so portable. Uh, you can, you can uh, uh, bring a CD, uh, you can you could carry a uh, hundred CDs easily into a party or, or a location that you wanted to, uh, or, or, uh, to a friend's house or etc. And uh, you know when I used to have my uh, DJ business, that that's that was my favorite. I I got out of it kind of as digital music was starting to come in when people were starting to bring their iPods in. Um, so at the time I was still doing CDs, um, and they were really convenient. It was really easy. It was a lot easier than the albums. Uh, Albums were pretty easy to find the song you wanted, um, but you had to carry, you know, if you wanted, if you wanted a hundred albums, it were crates, and a hundred CDs was just a little packet. So uh, CDs was a were a big improvement for me for, as a mobile DJ, and um, and then. Uh, you know, uh, eventually I got myself one of those CD writers, and um, you know it was uh, that that was kind of a fun way to share uh, share some music. But it also the writers kind of came out about the same time as um, you know the uh, the 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 pirate type music, uh, where so people were not necessarily sharing their CDs so much as they were just kind of uh, downloading the stuff off the internet and making their own CDs. So uh, otherwise CDs would probably rank higher on my list. I think that they have, have the possibility of being number one if they had come out uh, 10 years earlier and it would have been something, it would have been a great way for people to share their music with each other and um, do the kind of things you did with my number one on my list. Um, it would have been better than my number one. So CDs were a great were a great way to listen to music. Number two on my list is LP records. Um, just something about sitting down in your bedroom and uh, with a pair of headphones in and uh you know watching the needle hit the uh hit the album and uh just sit, sitting just laying on your bed and um 
looking at the the cover just uh going through everything on the cover uh the who whoever produced it um the mixers where it was recorded the year it was recorded uh things like that you know you just um we didn't have a lot of distractions when i was listening to a lot of albums back in the 70s and 80s so you know um there was no listening to music while you're surfing the internet and stuff like that you know we actually sat and uh, absorbed what was in the cover and what was in on the liner notes and and what have you so um just uh there's just kind of a romantic uh thing about putting an album on and and uh watching it uh spin around as you're listening to it that i uh just couldn't get with any other format that I still love today. Um, so number one on my list is the cassette tape. For me, the cassette tape was the most fun. It fits in your pocket. You would uh, make uh, party tapes for your friends, uh, party tapes for parties. Uh, you could you could go to a party with two two cassette tapes in your pocket and pop those in and go the whole night with those two tapes, two uh, 90 minute cassettes and, and, um, and, and, uh, you know, it was just a, it was just a really great way to share music. Um, uh, you could go over to a friend's house with an empty cassette and he would have an album that you wanted to own and, you would uh, pop your empty cassette into his cassette player and just sit and listen to the album while it recorded, and that was uh, that was that was kind of a special way to to get an album for some reason. I don't uh, I don't know what what the beauty of that was, but you know when you'd listen to your cassette tape, then you could remember hanging out with your at your buddy's house and listening to the album, and and uh, so. That's it for today. It's kind of a brief one. And, um, you know, if you have any other ideas or thoughts uh, with this uh, video or any other video, I welcome the feedback as long as it's, uh, you know, as long as your comments are polite. Disagree with me if you want. Uh, we all listen to, we all have a, a different ear for music and uh, you know formats that we listen to music with and uh, I enjoy talking to people about that's the reason why I do this is because I uh, I welcome the uh, conversation so uh, once again this is Tony Peterson with top five rock lists and uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe please thank you